Pussy feels good. It's a feeling like all your problems about to walk out of the door. Well, until you get yours, and then it's just more and more and more. So then you chase it with more and more and more, and well, now you're a whore, right? I used to say there was no such thing as a whore. Only an opportunist. Until I realized sometimes the only opportunity is another fixing of your addiction. And as you grow older, it becomes mental, so you have to start mixing. it with alcohol and drugs, it should get your system clicking. Because once you get labeled anything, it becomes a mission to do the impossible or living up to a position. The only fruition is to never come with a mission, a moans in every position, whether it be the bedroom, living room, or kitchen, and you want me to send your lifelong failure to orgasm into remission, and damn, that's a lot of pressure on a nigga don't even really like you like that. <laughs> it just so happens that when I write you right back, now I got to focus on making it stand up. So when I move, you move just like that. And she loved the way I DJ, so she going to be right back. And that's my life story. Every time I'm supposed to be healing holes, I'm just filling holes with hope and dick. And yes, I get my nut, but I truly only orgasm when I'm intimate. So it's really no benefit besides fuel to my ego. And coming from a nigga that knows better, I'm going to let all y'all know. That's some simple shit. It's like I'm stuck in this cycle. Well, I have the option to choose which one is next. But the higher, I, higher me I have become is searching for which one is best. While still lingering in my heartbreak and comparing them to the rest of women who entered into my bed and searched for my soul just to realize how cold it was right before they left. All the women who realized their vagina wasn't the only thing shallow in this bed and these sheets wasn't the only thing I was going to leave in a mess. Good dick only hypnotizes women who are filled with nothing more than it. I keep telling myself I've been searching for the reason women always walk out on me, but really I've been ignoring it. Ignoring the fact I think I can swallow my way out all my dirt, do circle eights around the clip of every argument, use the curve of my shaft to throw off the straight ball of clear communication thrown at me, and I take every disagreement to the same degree as if somebody was stoning me instead of finding value in the fact somebody's loaning me a piece of their care, but I really don't care because I swear my good outweighs my bad. Okay, my bad is fucking terrible. And sometimes my good isn't even edible because it's fake as hell. Because what we don't realize is sometimes even our good is the result of a trauma spell. And we focus so much on being good, it's the exact reason that we fail. Because being good to somebody else is about focusing on what they need and not focusing on ourselves. You cannot bring that last relationship structure into this new foundation. It will always go in vain. Your ex didn't like this, your new woman likes that, they are clearly not the same. You used to make her squirt in this position, you got this new woman in pain. This is the NBA, no boys allowed. Real man understands sometimes it takes all seven to win this series because you got to learn the game. You cannot be like Iverson. You have to understand that practice is legit because you have to practice who the game is worth playing with, who the game is worth playing for, and who is not even worth playing with by simply first practicing on yourself, which means wait for it. Look in the mirror and heal, bitch. Poem. 